going on? Jerome here, and welcome back to another awesome episode of Global Sweets. Now, if you've never joined us before for this show, it's pretty much where we go around and try out sweets from not only all around the world, but also just different types of sweets in general. And in today's episode, I wanted to go ahead and not just pick chocolate bars, but I wanted to pick the obscure chocolate bars you see sometimes in supermarkets that are... I, in my opinion, ridiculously overpriced. But we're, we're going to give them a try and see. So every single chocolate bar here was ranging from anywhere from $4 to even up to $6. I think there were some there that were even more I didn't even bother with. But we have a lot of different weird flavors. And i got to say, some of them I'm definitely excited to try out. Other ones, not the most excited, but, you know, that's part of the game. So, anyway, what we have with us today is one from Lint, which is a chili chocolate. This one's actually fairly popular. Uh, I know that much. It's 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 good. I, I've had it like once before when I was younger. I was really curious. Uh, very spicy, but uh, I, I mean, honestly, pretty good. And that one is probably the least out there kind of one. Then it gets a little crazier from there. We have s'mores flavored chocolate bar, and s'mores chocolate bar is pretty much, let's see if it has a breakdown, fluffy marshmallows, crushed honey graham crackers, and milk chocolate. I, I know, I mean, everyone knows what a s'more is, I've just never seen one on a chocolate bar anyway. I've, I've had one of these like way, way, way long time ago. Uh, same with these potato chip ones. So these ones literally have potato chips and, and chocolate, and that's it. Uh, I don't know why it costs as much money as it does, but, but it does. So we're going to give that one a try. And then this one right here is honeycomb, which... I actually don't know if it has actual honeycomb in it, but it says luscious amber honey caramelized into crisp bits. So it's it's just supposed to simulate a honeycomb, I suppose. I, I bet this, this one will probably be extremely good. This and the s'mores had my vote for probably the best tasting ones. Uh, after that, it was a local supermarket here. Uh, it's, it's in New Jersey. I don't know if they have them anywhere else, but it's called King's. That's where I went to. Uh, and it has puffed quinoa. Uh, so it's dark chocolate and quinoa. I don't know. I mean, should be good. It says local on it. So, I mean, I don't know. Local's usually good. This one right here, I've never heard of this before, but the brand is called Choco Love XOXOX, and this is cherries and almonds, which probably be extremely good. I, I bet you this one will be very, very good, actually, to be honest with you. And this one, same thing I've never heard of before, is called Divine. And this one is, along with the chili, is probably the least out there flavor of chocolate. This one is dark chocolate with pink Himalayan salt. So, uh, it sounds fancy, but I, I, I don't know. I'm sure it'll be fine, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, this one right here though, 70% dark chocolate with ginger and orange. So that one, I've never heard of anything. I've never heard of ginger being applied to chocolate. I've heard of orange in chocolate, surprisingly. Ginger, I don't, I don't know. Uh, next up we have Ritter Sport, which is milk chocolate and corn flakes. So that's gonna be pretty cool. I, I'm imagining like a chocolatey, like Rice Krispies treat. So I'm excited about that one. And then last but not least, we have Caramel Macchiato Triple Chocolate, which I, I gotta admit, I, this will probably be delicious. I mean, I love coffee and I love chocolate and I love caramel. And this is a Caramel Macchiato Chocolate Bar. I, I don't know. I mean, it sounds good. So we're gonna get to it. But either way, I got the receipt right here, and just to pull up exactly how much all this stuff cost, and it was about $40, <laughs> a little more than $40. Bucks. Um, some of the stuff actually was cheap. Wow, the hand, the caramel macchiato one, I would expect that would be the most expensive. That was the cheapest one with the King's one for 3 bucks. And the most expensive ones of all, of all were these ones, which were $5.99. And they actually have a few other ones, too. I think they had bacon. Uh, I don't know if they still make it, but back in a long time, they had bacon and a couple other ones. But $5.99 for those. Jeez, so sad. Pretty crazy. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and let's give one a try. So I guess we'll start off with the least strange first, which would be dark chocolate Himalayan pink, so, uh, with, uh, with pink Himalayan salt and chili flavored chocolate bar. So we're gonna give this one a little test here. The chili flavored one, it's, if you haven't had it before, I would suggest trying it. Like I said, it's, it sounds, to some people, like at least how when I was younger and I heard it, I was like, what? It sounds crazy. But honestly, it's pretty popular around the world. Like chili chocolate. I, I have a lot of friends, a lot of actually European friends who said they, they've had this when they were growing up. And I was surprised. I was like, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. But, aren't you? No. Not too spicy, honestly. It's, it's, it's strange. It's like... Like, you expect it to be immediately spicy, but it's not. It's kind of like you eat the chocolate, and then in the background, there's, like, the tiniest hint of spice. But it's almost like like a dry taste hits, hits the back of your mouth, if that makes any sense at all. Like, it's weird. It's, like, it's not really that spicy. It's just, like, there's a little bit of an after hit. Almost even like cinnamon. Like, you know, like, there's a little bit of an after kick. 
It's kind of like that. Overall though, really good. I do like it. And I'm gonna probably save that one for later. I'm trying to think, are there any here that I won't? Well, I think all these are gonna be delicious. They all are maybe the potato chip. Honestly, I think the potato chip, I might not enjoy that much. So let's go ahead and let's do potato chip. I was gonna pick Himalayan salt, but I started looking at the potato chip one and then I got hungry. So we're, we're gonna try the chocolate and potato chip. And we're gonna give this one a go. All right, break her open and Let's see. Wow. That is honestly pretty good. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Very good. Now, I'm also going to try and rank these things in terms of not how good they are, but for the price. So I would say the lint chili, the lint one wasn't super expensive, but it was still... It was $3.99, so I would say for the price, probably not the lint one, to be honest, it's not, I mean, it's good, but I definitely wouldn't. The potato chip one, very good, would not. It was, it was $5.99, you could buy like six chocolate bars for that much. Totally, definitely no on the potato chip, as good as it is, just not, no. Um, let's see here, let's go with dark chocolate with ginger and orange. I wanna give that one a try, see if it, uh, I want to see what it tastes like, actually, you know? I'm curious myself. Ooh! See, we've got an orange and gold wrapper in the middle of it. That's pretty cool. Okay, 10 out of 10 for presentation here, not that that matters. And let's give this bad boy a try here. Crack this open, and... Hmm. Wow. That is interesting. Like, like that is probably the most unique chocolate bar I've ever taken a bite of. I did not, I was not expecting that. I mean, I'm not a huge, huge fan of it, but I'm a big fan of, you know, it tastes different. Like, wow, I, I don't know. I never expected to try ginger and chocolate, and now I did. I don't regret it, it was actually pretty good, but just not 100% for me. Well, if you like ginger and orange, I mean, go for it. I believe, actually, funny enough, that might have been on the cheaper end of the spectrum, too. That was, let's see, mm, it was three ninety nine. So, I don't know, if you like those chocolates, give it a try. All right, let's see, hmm. Let's go with Puff Quinoa. So, we're going for the local brand here, Kings. I'm going to try a Puff Quinoa bar. Okay. Get a little, little nibble off. And, survey says... Hmm. Pretty good. Um. I mean, that's pretty much where that begins and ends. <laughs> pretty good. Like it. It's weird as sounds like quinoa, although making it a little crunchier. It's very hard to taste in there. So it's kind of just like dark chocolate, which kind of begs the question of why would you pay? I don't even know. Two ninety nine for it. I mean, uh, no, like I'm good. <laughs> so so far, honestly. I'm not just saying this. You know, I, I guess always, the only reason I'm doing this is because as a kid, I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to go and like grab most expensive chocolate and be like, yeah, let's see. What, I want to see what these are all about. Uh, so far, not thoroughly impressed. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I think I'd rather just have my Hershey's. <laughs> like, like, you know, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm the crazy one. So unfortunately, my camera messed up after I made it through the entire rest of them. So I laid out the ones back out that I haven't, uh, Really, uh, apparently you guys didn't get to see me do, so, so we're gonna drive again, and, uh, and I'll let you guys know what I think, and I'll go through again, but that's why they're opened up, I tried them, and the camera decided to stop working. Phenomenal! Okay, uh, so next up on the list, let's go with the s'mores one. Now, the thing I like the most about the s'mores, you ready for this, is they were not kidding around when they say s'mores. It literally has marshmallow chunks coming out the other side of it. Like that is, you, you can't make that up. It's incredible. I absolutely love that. I think it's cool. Uh, but giving it a try, and I remember correctly. And, let's see. I mean, hmm. Honestly though, really good. So the way I put it at is, at least for the s'mores one, is it worth the $6? No, but at the same, or the $5.99, no. But at the same time, if you're looking for something unique, like you're with like a group of friends, you each want to throw on like a doll, I would say yeah, like to try it once. It's like, I, it's one of those things, it's one of those things where it's like, I know I would not go to the store every day and buy this chocolate bar. 
But, but would I like get it like one off just to try it? Yeah. And so far I would say that and the potato chips might fall into that category where it's like not your everyday chocolate bar, but like, you know, once, once and you're good. Like I think I could go, then I could live the rest of my life without having more potato chip chocolate, but you know, maybe I'm the crazy one here. I, I don't know. Uh, next up we have cherries and almond and dark chocolate. This one was pretty good. The only problem I had with it really when I tried it earlier, let me see what it just, is that it's kind of hard to taste the cherries. It basically just tastes like dark chocolate and almonds, which isn't a problem, you know, except that it says cherries in the wrapping. So I guess it is a problem. Um, no, overall though, it's not bad. But yeah, no, not bad, not bad at all. Just not the best. Um, let's see what's up next. Honeycomb. Honeycomb was really good. As you could imagine, extremely sugary, um, but honestly really good. I, now, in terms of all the ones that are from this brand, I would say, it's the least unique to the point where, like I wouldn't recommend trying it out, um, but still good, still really good. So, oh, I, I would say, I would say good, but just not worth the five ninety nine. And we're gonna pick one of the other ones. I would say s'mores or potato chips, and that's pretty much where my vote lies. All right, next on the list we have caramel macchiato. This one was super cool because as you can see by the shape, not only does it have a cool name, which is Caramel Macchiato, not only is it promising in the fact that, you know, it's got caramel chocolate coffee is pretty much what they're promising here, but look at that. That's how it's shaped. I've never seen a chocolate bar shape like that with little circles. So, I don't know, I tried it out earlier, and also, oh, it's also layered. I tried it out earlier, and genuinely incredible. Like. It, it, they advertise it perfectly. It, it actually tastes like a solid form of a caramel macchiato, which if you've never had, it's basically just a caramel coffee. And you can taste the coffee, you can taste the caramel, you can taste the chocolate. Uh, literally, they, hands down, they, they hit the nail on the head. Almost as much as the s'mores, because the s'mores would literally put s'mores in there. They literally put graham cracker and marshmallow bits in there. But they definitely came the closest to their desired flavor, which is pretty cool. All right, now next up we have the Ritter Sport Corn Flake. And this one, in my opinion, was one of the only ones out there that I would say was worth an everyday grab. Not like everyday, because you never eat chocolate every day. But whenever you're going, let's say, like a, a frequent grab, we'll say, a frequent grab, whenever that is. Uh, this one was like $2.99 or $3.99. And it's just cornflake chocolate. And Ritter, if you don't know, is very popular in Germany. Um, and yeah, they're starting to break out a lot in the US. I've seen them more and more and more over the years. Same with Milka brand, which I didn't see that at the store today. But same thing, anyway, uh, let's see. Yep, absolutely incredible. It reminds me of like a better uh, crunch bar. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever had that, or even if they're still naked. I, I don't eat much chocolate like now that, you know, I'm no longer a kid, unfortunately. But. At least when I was going to have Crunch Bar. I think they still have Crunch Bar in stores, like the blue wrapper. Anyway, um, it tastes like a, a better Crunch Bar, which is pretty cool. Uh, next one up is Dark Chocolate and Himalayan Pink Salt. This is also the last one. This one, unfortunately, when I tried it, yeah, the rating still stays the same. When I tried it earlier, basically, it, it's good. It's not bad. It's good. It's, it's Dark Chocolate Salt. However, how many other chocolate brands out there also do dark chocolate salt that probably tastes almost identical to this and aren't like, I mean, how much was that one? That was a divine chocolate, right? So that was, is that, yeah, $3.99. So that was the only problem I had with it. It was like, why? <laughs> you know, like it's, it's $3.99, but it's something that many other chocolate brands do. But anyway, everybody, that is pretty much it. That was me trying out the different things. Uh, like I said before, I would say Ritter Sport wins in terms of price for, for flavor. You're looking for fun little things to try out with your friends. Grab the s'mores one and have it tried out with your friends. Grab the potato chip one, try it out with your friends. They are definitely the most unique ones that you'll ever have. Um, but that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, everybody. And we'll see you next time.